All right. And number 95 with 56 points, Tomohiro Ishii comes in on Mongoose's list at 45. 45, baby. And the reason why is that I had 43 Wrestling Observer, excuse me, I had 42 Wrestling Observer Hall of Famers, um, but I put Reigns and Osprey ahead of him because they are surefire first ballot Observer Hall of Famers. Um, Tomohiro Ishii is the best wrestler that in the world that is not in the Observer Hall of Fame that is eligible. And if he does not make it, it is an actual shame. It's more of a shame if Ishii doesn't make it than Edge, than Randy Orton, than CM Punk. And let me tell you why. Uh, Tomohiro Ishii, I never heard of uh, until uh, about 2017. I was, 2017 was the year that I heard about the Omega and Okada match from Wrestle Kingdom. Watch that on Daily Motion or whatever, uh, a couple of weeks after it happened. And I really liked that dude that dressed like the Terminator, right? Um, I didn't realize that he was in the ring with a guy that is literally top five of all time. But, you know, at that time, I was like, this dude, the Terminator get up is really cool. Uh, so I started to follow what they were doing. And that led me to watch a little bit of Ring of Honor television. And at that time, uh, Axis, I believe it was, was the channel that was playing the um, G1 in the USA, the first ever time that New Japan came to the United States uh, in early Japan 2017. And um, there was a, a little tournament for the new um, IWGP US Championship. And Kenny Omega beat this guy named Tomohiro Ishii for the championship. And to be honest, in my eyes, I was watching, you know, Shawn Michaels versus Dean Douglas, right? So you guys just talked about, about uh, Shane, Shane Douglas there. But, you know, like just the star versus the guy he's supposed to beat. That was what I was seeing. Um, and so I didn't know Tomohiro Ishii. I was just like, okay, Japanese guy in a Japanese promotion, whatever. Uh I was watching along then, and then the next year's G1, um, I watched – that That was the most watched G1 that I've seen as, as, in terms of match volume. And Kenny versus Ishii, I turned on my laptop in the middle of the evening one day and started to watch, and I literally was slapping my dining room table like halfway through with near falls and stuff. Um, the, these guys laying it into each other, uh, V triggers and brain busters and forearms and everything else. And at that moment, I said to myself, well, if I ever have a son, which spoiler alert, I did not, nor will I, uh, he will be named Tomohiro Shii Mongoose. Okay. <laughs> because this dude, this dude was killer. K Kenny was Kenny was unbeaten in the in, in the G1. He did lose to um, his first loss, I believe. It, it was either this one or it was to uh, Yano because Yano tied him up in tape or whatever. Um, but this was one that like would have cemented him in the block and he lost to Ishii. And it was just, it was so good, man. It, it's a five-star plus match. It deserves all of them and maybe more. Um, I actually had written down here, uh, G1 Omega 2018, 76 stars. So I did give it a little bit more than five. Um, it's, it's, it, it's, it's so good. And my favorite thing about Ishii okay. is that he will have matches with Will Ospreay that aren't Ishii matches, meaning that like he can literally fly around if he needs to, and he can then have matches with, um, somebody that's like uh, uh, like Master Watto or something that turned into like brutal slugfests. Like he can absolutely mold himself to whoever it is that he's wrestling, which is like it's it's up here. Um, if you want to talk about like consistent four star match quality, there's nobody better than him 
uh, well, there's a couple, I should say, there's a couple people better than him, but he's up there uh, over the last seven years. Um, and the best thing about Ishii is that he's like five foot six and he walks around like he's six foot eight. You know what I mean? He presents himself like he's feet taller than he is and that he's feet wider than he is. And that's presence, man. It's one thing to be, you know, fueled up with gas and, and you can't even move or whatever and not be able to work. And it's another thing to be a small guy that is so impressive in what you do physically that people think you're way bigger than you are. So I, I, I that's I, to, to me, dude, he's, he's awesome. So bless the child, brother. Like my time I said that, but he, he deserves it. Yeah. I had, um, I had some notes here too on, on Ishii. Um, I, I don't think people realize, like you were saying, how many great matches this dude has had, even, even in just a short term recently. Um, I know one of your, like you said, one of your favorite matches of all time, if not your favorite was him and him and Omega. I went back and watched three matches of him just recently and all three of them were from this year's G1, from 2023. That Kingston match is just you. That Kingston dude, match so, is insane. It's, just it's, it's that is, I mean, the, the, the Hanari match is great. The Finley match. I mean, as uh, as as a tough and respected guy, man, that guy did a really good job making Finley look great. Um, I did not have Ishii in my own top 100, but I, I wanted to say that I think that history is going to be really favorable to him. When it's all said and done, he's going to be a guy that people are going to look back. They're going to think is going to be just fantastic. And I, I, I wanted to say too, um, real quick that when you think about uh, the perfect example of kind of what a professional wrestler really is, I don't know if I can think of a better example than than Ishii. When you of of a, of a professional wrestler, who's better? Who's a better example than that guy, man? For all the for all the things that what you said, um, it's just so physical. And good at presenting himself as a real threat to win, even though he doesn't win really all that much. Um, it, it, awesome. Just awesome. Ishii is better Scott Hall. Like He's better Scott Hall. And meaning that Scott Hall is everybody's person. How did this guy ever win a world title? Blah, blah, blah. That, that's Ishii. His matches are better. His... Uh, his presentation just in terms of a physical presence is better character isn't better quote unquote than Scott Hall because Scott Hall is iconic characters Um, but uh, he to me he's better working Scott Hall because Scott Hall was able to put together uh, you know he had a five-star match with Michaels um, but then you know he was he was a consistent good match guy right like you're never going to see a bad Razor Ramon match or a bad Scott Hall match until like whatever, 1998. Um, but the thing with the Shee is, is he's still cranking out four star matches uh, and the dude's 50 years old. That's the other thing is that he's doing all of this and he's very not young. Um, and there's, there's, there should be a lot to be said for that. So even though, you know, his, his timeline isn't the same with the boom period of wrestling, what he's doing at the level he's doing at the age he's doing it um, for as long as he's been doing it is incredible, man. And so, yeah, I'm now I'm, I'm happy you're here. Tell hero. Yeah. I mean, the first thing I think over the wars that he's had over the years with, with just Suzuki, I mean, it feels like those yeah, guys, the Suzuki matches, those Suzuki matches, man. I mean, dude, they could be on every card and I would watch every one of them. If, if they, if they were on every single card, I would watch them, you know, but they, yep. look at looking kind of at his accomplishments. I mean, that guy was best brawler, in the Observer Newsletter, six years in a row, he was best brawler. Best brawler of the decade, of the 2010s. Um, you know, IWGP Tag Team Champion with, with, with uh, Yano one time. Never open weight champion six times. Never open weight six, uh, six man tags three times. Um, it, uh, what, what else can you say, man? I mean, there's, there's great matches every time he gets in the ring. Well, and that's how good you are is when, when you can t- when you put like tag him with Yano, you know what I mean? Because dude, Yano is the biggest gimmick that there is. Um, and the fact that you're able to say, this guy is such a good worker that we can put him with somebody that only just ties people with uh, masking tape to the uh, to the ring post, um, you know, the whole time. Uh, and, and we can make them a viable tag team. That That's the she You know, that's it. So, yeah, dude, he's he's great. He's so great. So, 
I, I hope I hope that when, when we redo this list, you revise this list rather, whenever we revise this list, um, may you be a couple of spots higher, Tomohiro, because you deserve it, brother. <laughs>